There we go. How's it going, everyone? Just doing a little Saturday night streaming. Playing some No Man's Sky for a change. Gonna start a brand new save on permadeath. Basically, the way permadeath wa uh, works is everything is, um, I think, triple damage. Like, so everything's just harder, basically. A lot harder. <laughs> Also, I think with this mode, you do not start next to your crash ship. You actually have to, um, you actually have to walk to your ship. So, we'll see how it goes. What's up, Grand Wizard Cartman? Fear my magic. I wish I had a better than level 1 Grand Wizard Cartman so that I could actually use him. Although, I think he's really only super usable once you get him to level 3. Although, like in the ratings that I'm at in Legendary, I think that's true of most Legendaries. Mecha Timmy's decent even at level 1. He's okay just because his ability is pretty good. Stan of Many Moons, I think, is okay at level 2 in the top 1,000, top 500. But really, like, Stand of Many Moons is good at level 3, too. Just like most of the other legendaries. So we'll play this for a little while, see how we can do. See if we can at least kind of get uh, the starting... The starting part's really the hardest. Getting to your ship is going to be incredibly difficult because even like the uh, the atmospheric stuff does increase damage. Hopefully, we don't start on some like insanely difficult planet. So, Choking Clouds, Sentinel's Minimal, that's good. Flora, Fool, that's good. So, lots of Flora, some Fauna. Uh, first thing we're going to have to do, let's go over here and uh, see what we can find. In our little crash site. Plutonium, always good. Save it. Shielding shard, that'll be helpful. And now we'll just go inside this little shelter, see if there's anything in here that we can find. Anti clusters. Life support's full. Uh, what do we need to fix? Probably our scanner. Yep. We need carbon and iron. So that's our first first thing to do is get carbon and iron. So let's go with some iron. And then luckily we have plenty of uh, plants around. Carbon. 
then once we get these two things fixed, we can figure out where our ship is and start heading that way. Big mushroom. That should be enough. Alright, let's go back in. What's up, Club Horn? How's it going? You almost have a level 6 deckhand butters, but he's max at level 5. You need 800 more copies. Well, that's not almost a level 6 deckhand butters. That's still a good ways away from level 6, but I mean, level 5 is at least pretty decent. So we'll go ahead and repair both of these. So now we can uh, use our scanner, which will let us scan the area for uh, usable materials. And the visor lets us scan the plants and animals like this. And if we can find all of the uh, plants and animals, well, not plants, but all the animals on a planet, we get like a pretty big credit bonus, which is nice early on. So that'll be the first goal is um, while we're looking for our ship, we want to try and find as many uh, animals as possible. Plants are good too, because I mean, you still get units for scanning plants, but want to get all of the animals more than you want to get all the plants. Regardless though, we'll scan everything just because we need as many units as we can possibly get early on. We'll go ahead and get some more iron, probably some more carbon too. Because we can at least, I think, use iron to make shielding shards to recharge um, our shields when they wear out, and then carbon I think we can use to recharge our mining tool, if I remember correctly. But we'll need to be looking for plutonium. Whoa, where did we get heridium from? That's interesting. Maybe the mushrooms give you little bits of heridium? I don't know. We got heridium from somewhere. You've never seen this game before, Clubhorn? Yeah, this is No Man's Sky. It's um, it's like a space exploration survival game. So once we get our spaceship, we'll be able to leave the planet if we want to, and then we can go to different solar systems. Uh, it's It's got an entire universe, man. Like, multiple solar systems, multiple galaxies, like, and it's huge. There's more planets than you could possibly ever visit in an entire lifetime of playing this game. It's it's pretty cool. If you like exploration games, at least, it's pretty cool. So yeah, let's go ahead and try and get our mining laser up to full before we do anything too crazy. We've already got that guy. But on permadeath, it's like a lot slower than if I was playing on normal mode. On normal mode, like, the stuff, you, you mine stuff faster, stuff does less damage to you. It doesn't cost as much to repair and recharge all of your stuff. So this is just like making it really, really difficult. And of course, on permadeath, if I die, my, uh, my save file gets erased. So <laughs> you only get one life. Where's everyone? Probably because it's not Phone Destroyer, and it's just an impromptu stream. I didn't advertise that I was streaming, so people might join, people may not. I just figured since I'm going to be playing, I might as well, um, I might as well stream while I'm playing. But I'm still trying to finish off the um, the event in Phone Destroyer. I think I have two two of the single packs left to earn, but I'm not too worried about it. I'll probably finish it off tomorrow, and after I finish those last two packs, uh, I'll record myself opening all of the packs, and then I'll upload that. I'll try and have that uploaded tomorrow. I don't think I'll be able to finish it tonight. 
I would have been able to finish it tonight, but uh, since I'm not really putting any money into the game right now, uh, I haven't been able to do a lot of pack refreshes. Uh oh. Let's get in here. I pissed off the Sentinels. Alright, we'll just hide here until they go away. If you mine too many, uh, like kill too many plants or kill animals that aren't um, hostile to you, then uh, you piss off the sentinels. And when you piss off the sentinels, they come after you. Alright, so we've got our mining beam to full. Um, I think, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and, let's see, where's general options? Uh, redeem bonus content. I can redeem this ship. This is a ship that you get if you were pre-ordered. Uh, and I pre-ordered this game, so I get this awesome... It's not really awesome. It's like a slight upgrade, so 5% more damage. But, uh, I can dismantle this stuff. Or at least dismantle some of this stuff. And then I can transfer this stuff over, so it gives me a little bit of a bonus. Some plutonium. And then my hyperdrive's already charged a little bit, so I don't have to uh, build a hyperdrive on this ship, which is awesome. So we'll just exchange it. Perfect. I still have to find the ship, though, I think. Oh, hello, Sentinels. Yes, don't mind me. Uh, I'm not the guy you're looking for. Alright, let's see if there's anything in this cave, since we've got a cave nearby. Might as well check it out. Maybe there's some plutonium up in here. It's worth a shot. We won't go too far, though, because I don't want to get too, uh, too lost in this cave, if it's, if it's big. Plus, I'll need to eventually get some stuff to recharge my life support. What do I need to recharge my life support? Uh, Thamium-9, power gels, and power canisters. Excellent. Alright. We'll go ahead and transfer those to the starship. Free some room. The other bad thing about starting off in this game is that you have no inventory space. What's up, Pharaoh? How's it going, man? Emily, what's up? What's up, Mark Field? Uh, we're just playing some No Man's Sky today. Since uh, since I play Phone Destroyer throughout the week, uh, sometimes on the weekends I like to play different games. <laughs> so I figured since I'm playing something different, I might as well stream it so that way you guys can uh, hang out if you want to. Uh, if it's not your thing, I totally understand. But um, I don't really have a lot going on in Phone Destroyer right now. Uh, I'm still waiting on a PvP pack to refresh, so I think I'm almost at my locker limit for the day, too. This cave does not look like it has much going on in it. I'm just going to get a little bit of iron. Uh, how do we make shielding shards? Iron and platinum. Okay, power gel. We need plutonium and carbon. Alright. So, we need to find plutonium and thamium pretty quick. So let's just head out of this cave then and see if we can start exploring a little bit. Oh, take it easy, Emily. Thanks for checking in. Have a good night. Get some rest. Uh, have I already gotten myself lost in this cave? Probably. I think it's this way, though. Maybe not this way. Oh yeah, okay, we're good. We'll go this way. Yep, yep. We definitely have to get some uh, Thamium-9 and some Plutonium pretty quick before we run out of life support. You 
play on PS4 because your daughter loves horror games and you would know any good ones besides the popular ones? I do not have a PlayStation 4, so I wouldn't be able to help you there, unfortunately. Um, I think, like, I, I saw one awesome game on PlayStation, uh, Last of Us. That one looked really good. I don't know if it's necessarily a horror game, uh, but it looks like it's a lot of fun. It has some, I guess, kind of scary stuff. Let's get this carbon. We'll get that over there, too. Pissed off the sentinels again. Well, let's get in here. Alright. Now we need to go and try and find some plutonium. Pretty quick. Uh, no, the videos aren't copyrighted by me. I don't I don't know exactly what you're asking, though, uh, Grand Wizard Cartman. Alright. Any... There's some plutonium up there. We can go ahead and get that. Alright, we'll go up there and get that plutonium, and then hopefully we'll see some... Uh, or not plutonium. Platinum. Hopefully we'll see some plutonium. But I think plutonium they made pretty rare in the game now. It used to be like super common, like everywhere. There's some platinum. Oh, and it takes forever for the damn scanner to recharge. Alright. We've got to find some plutonium or some thamium. going on out here. Oh, I don't know how downloading videos from YouTube works. Um, I'm not 100% I'm not sure what the rules are for that. There's some plutonium. Alright, let's see if we can get over there. Yeah, we definitely need to find some quick. Perfect. Alright. I think that's Thamium, so that'll be helpful. It's a decent amount of Thamium, too. Okay, what do we do to recharge this? Zinc, shielding shards, um... That perfect. All right, we're good to go for a little while. Let's head in the direction of our ship, I guess, and see if we can uh, find. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's Heridium. We need that.
probably just try and pick up a couple hundred of this. I think that's all we'll need. Alright, we need to find shelter ASAP. Oh, more plutonium and zinc. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's exactly what we need. Let's go to the zinc first, because that will allow us to recharge our life support. Or our, uh, not our life support, but our shield. Oh, well, that's not good. Uh, let's move this to starship. Move this to Starship. Alright, now we can recharge. Let's use a shielding shard. And now we'll head over and get this plutonium. But yeah, I don't know what would make a, a video copyrighted. Maybe if it has copywritten music or something on it, or like copywritten content. Um, but it, uploading a video doesn't make it copyrighted. But if it contains unoriginal content, then it would probably be copywritten. There we go. There's a cave. That's perfect. Let's go get in that cave and let our. Uh, Oh, is that? That is zinc, I think. Oh, man. We're hitting the mother load. This is awesome. Already got that. Let's get these zinc pedals. Boom. 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 Alright. Now we'll go to the cave here and let our hazard protection recharge. And then we can continue. Oh, sweet. And there's plutonium in the cave. Oh, man. We are getting so lucky. A little bit of luck never hurts in permadeath mode, though. all the plutonium we can get. Let's see if there's anything else back here before we go back out. Doesn't look like it. Yep, not seeing anything. Nothing over there. Alright, we can head back out. I appreciate that, Grand Wizard Cartman. It's Saturday night, man. I assume people are out doing stuff. It's fine. I mean, I, like I said, the only reason I'm streaming is because I figured if I'm going to play a game, I might as well stream. I don't, is it raining out still? It may not be raining right now. Oh, it is. Never mind. Alright, we can continue our adventure now. Uh, it looks like some thamium and some zinc over there. We'll head that way and go ahead and pick that stuff up. And then our ship is there. We still have nine minutes of walking to get to our ship. <laughs> oh, oh, the fun. There's some more plutonium, too. And a sentinel. Thamium, always helpful. Zinc, always helpful. Go ahead and get just a little bit of black platinum, plutonium, not platinum. And let's just keep moving.
Yeah, Clubhorn, it, it gets really cool, man. Like, just, just stick with me long enough to at least get to my ship and get my ship repaired, and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. Stay away from that thing. That thing is a poison whip vine. It will poison me, and in this mode, it is really not good to get poisoned. So we want to avoid those things if we can. Uh, let's see what this is over here real quick. Maybe it's a shelter. Uh, it looks like there might be a cave there. So we're going to head to that. Oh, there's another poison whip vine. We'll avoid that. And then we'll head to this cave. Toxic protection falling. We'll be okay. I, at least I hope this is a cave. If it's not a cave, kind of sucks. Uh, but hopefully it is. Uh, it doesn't look like it is. A bit unfortunate. So we will have to use, I think, some zinc to recharge. go ahead and talk to this thing. The imprint of an ancient civilization was once absorbed by this strange marker. The story of the Viking somehow spills out in the language of my own people. The noble travelers will be spared. Their journey through the cosmos shall not be thwarted. So it is decreed. The will of Herc commands it. The Viking shall honor the judgment and the belief of the ancients. Cool. So we'll learn a couple of Viking words, hopefully. We learn the word for interloper. And our standing with the Viking have increased. So in this game, there's, I think, three alien races. Um, it's the Viking, the Gek, and uh, I forget the third one. There's one more. Is this a cave? Aw, oh, damn it. This is a cave. That would have been nice. Not having to waste. I've already scanned you. I've already scanned one of you. What is this? Oh, that's a whip vine. Uh, we're gonna have to recharge our life support again soon. What does it take to make shielding shards? I think we need. Platinum, yeah, we need platinum to make shielding shards. All right, and oh, okay, we've got a recharge. At least we've got a decent amount of thamium to get us get us going for a little while. There's some plutonium over here. Check my inventory. All right, 130. So we've got a pretty decent amount of plutonium, but more is always good, and we can use the plutonium to start making power cells with carbon if we need to. I've already scanned you. Yep. This is a good chunk. Make sure we're not running low on space. Oh, please don't get mad at me. Please don't get mad at me. Please don't get mad at me. I think he's been mad. Oh, damn. Don't get mad at me. Please don't get mad at me. Please don't get mad at me. Please don't get mad at me. Okay. He's not mad. Alright, we're gonna have to use some zinc. Yeah, can you please just please go away? Just 
go away. Alright, we'll get this and then we'll go. We're on our way now. You just gotta be careful not to piss the sentinels off when I don't have anywhere to hide. Oh hey, I don't have, I haven't scanned you. The cool thing about this game is everything is procedurally generated. So all of the creatures on all of the different planets, all of the flora and fauna is all procedurally generated. So you, like you never know what you're gonna find on a planet. All kinds of different creatures and um, different plants and stuff. Some of the creatures are aggressive, most of them are docile, but every now and then you'll come across an aggressive creature. Kiss kiss bang bang, what's up man? I think it's the first time I've seen you in the channel. How's it going? More plutonium. We are just hitting the mother load on plutonium. Probably need some carbon real quick. This tree. Alright, I need to try and find a cave to hide in. Or some more zinc. Zinc is something we have been running low on. Not a cave. Maybe this is a cave though. Need to find a cave. Need to find yes, perfect. Alright, we'll hang out here for a second. Let's see if there's anything in this cave, maybe, that's worth grabbing. Oh, emerald. Too bad I don't need emerald right now. Do I have, uh, let's see how much... Maybe I have enough space in my starship I can store some emerald. Yeah, I could probably mine a little bit of emerald while I'm in here. Oh, okay. Well, we need to free up some slots. Uh, we'll just go ahead and send this to our starship. And then we'll start mining. We'll just mine maybe a couple hundred of this. Because we'll be able to sell this once we get off of the planet and uh, get some credits. Let's see, we'll use... we need to charge our multi-tool. We'll charge with carbon. And then I'll need to get more carbon once we get out of here. Yeah, okay, I'll try and at least get a couple hundred of this emerald. So, uh, how have you guys been doing on the event in, um, in South Park? I've got two more of the single packs left to earn. I haven't opened any of my packs yet, but from what I've seen, they're kind of not that great. Like, I think I watched Cobes open his, and uh, I forget who else. I watched one other person open their packs as well, and uh, none of the packs really looked that exciting. All right, that'll work. Let's uh, send that over to the starship. Perfect. And now we can get out of here and continue on our way. Get some more carbon real quick though. We'll get this.
on the move again. Only four more minutes to the starship. Oh, more Thamium. Thamium, always good. That might be Zinc over there. Yes, it is. We'll go get it. Now our life support's starting to run a little low, but we should have enough um, Thamium, I think, to recharge it. Zinc. Very nice, very nice. Oh, perfect. Platinum over here, too. Um, let's make sure we have spots in our inventory. We do. Okay. So we'll go ahead and pick up this platinum. Thamium, awesome. Oh, that's a whip vine. Let's not get too close to that. We're just going to run over here and see if this is a... Uh, see if there's a shelter over here. That way we don't have to use anything to recharge our toxic protection or hazard protection, whatever you want to call it. It reminds you of Warframe. I've never played Warframe. Toxic protection. What's up Elixir Mixer? How's it going, man? Glad you could tune in, bud. Yeah, I haven't seen you in a little bit. Always good to see you, though. Oh, sweet. Yes. All right. We have a, sh a shelter, and I think this also will allow us to expand uh, our inventory. Either way, though, this, the fact that it's a shelter is awesome. And I think the first one is free. Perfect. Just in the nick of time. Exosuit upgrade. Perfect. So now we've got another little slot. We definitely need to find more of these. I think the first one's free and then you have to start paying for them after that. I, th I think. Alright. Let's go. So, we've got a milestone, probably from walking. We have traveled 5,000 units. So, Thamium up here. We'll go get that. Some more plutonium over there. Oh, need to recharge our life support again. Technology recharge. I think that's sink up there. Go and get the sink. Uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to. I mean, I certainly wouldn't recommend starting out on permadeath mode if it's your first time. But like, if you start on normal mode, it's a lot more of a casual experience. They also have a creative mode uh, that's kind of like Minecraft creative mode, where there is no damage. There's more zinc. I'm gonna go ahead and go get this zinc. We're pretty close to our ship. 
Uh, but it's it's really not difficult to learn if you're learning on um, on normal mode. But yeah, trying to learn on survival mode or on permadeath mode is really difficult. Uh, because like I said, everything your your suits and everything deplete faster, and it takes more materials to recharge them. You have to recharge them more often. It's just harder in every way. E everything does more damage to you. You do less damage. <laughs> There's some more zinc. Oh man, we're set now. We've got plenty of zinc. And more plutonium too. But I think I want to just try and get to my ship for right now. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and recharge our protection. Since we have plenty of zinc, and then that should get us to the ship. Once we get to the ship, we just have to repair some stuff on it, and uh, then we can get going. There it is. Some plutonium right nearby. Excellent. So we'll need to use some plutonium probably right here to charge I think to charge our thrusters but before we get going with the ship probable boundary separation failure vessel 16 emptied sentinel intervention deliberate transfer unknown diagnostic no content no connection analysis awaiting fresh iteration anomaly containment prepared will broadcast traveler anomaly detected position logged system integrity scan initialized anomaly is compliant so that'll kind of start the uh, story, or at one of the stories at least. We'll open this, see if there's anything inside. Fascination bead, I don't really need a fascination bead. Uh, sure. Let's hop in our ship, let our hazard protection recharge. Whoa, what's going on? Uh-oh, did my game lock up? Well, this is fun. I think my game locked. I guess uh, I have to start over. Excellent. I wonder how far that's going to set me back. God only knows.
kill it with fire. First time that's ever happened. Oh my goodness. So this may have only set me back to where we got the suit upgrade. And if it's when we got the suit upgrade, that's not too bad. Uh, still less than ideal. But it is what it is. Not much we can do about it. Yeah, that does kind of suck. Like I said, if it drops us... If it drops us where the suit up... Yep, it's where we got the suit upgrade. So, not too far away. Is what it is. Hmm. Oh well. Let's go ahead and charge that. So yeah, only only a couple minutes of a walk. Uh, what do we got carbon wide? Let's just go ahead and get some carbon while we're sitting here. You know what? What do we need to... Let's just go ahead and see what we need to repair on our starship. So we need four... Three karaite sheets. Three karaite sheets. Four, five... Or six karaite sheets, it looks like total so we need to make five karite sheets and that's that's it okay well I'm gonna go ahead and do that then uh, iron we should be able to make enough We'll have to make it. Uh, have to get a little iron. Okay, that's not a problem. Let's go ahead and get some more carbon too. Hello, Mr. Sentinel. Let's go let our thing recharge again. Um, we need one more carite sheet, so let's go ahead and make that. Uh, transfer that to Starship, and then let's go ahead and repair, repair. Uh, we can go ahead and recharge, and uh, we need iron to charge our Pulse engines, so let's go ahead and get some more iron, I guess. I like how it randomly gives me Heridium. I'm not sure why it's randomly giving me Heridium. Uh, 
I've never played Fortnite. I've heard it's a lot of fun. Um, I don't have it though. All right, let's see if we can recharge this. Okay, we were able to recharge that all the way. Uh, we only have six iron. I don't know if I'd really need to worry about getting more. I can always get some from asteroids, so we'll, we'll just not worry about getting more iron right now. Let's just head to the ship again. <laughs> Oh, Fortnite's free? I didn't know it was free. I thought you had to buy the game. If it's free, I may have to uh, check it out then. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I've watched a lot of people play it. It looks fun. Go get the sink. I think there was some more, yep, there's some more zinc over here, so I'm going to go ahead and get this, I don't care. Let our stamina recharge. Toxic protection falling. Zinc, zinc, zinc. Plutonium, plutonium, plutonium. I'm gonna go ahead and get this plutonium to you. Should be enough to get us to the ship. We need to do one more scan. Oh. Why is my computer chugging? Something is like really messed up, man. I don't know what's going on with my computer now. Um, let's see. I'm only using like half of my resources. There we go. Alright, well, that whatever I did freed it up. Wow, now it's running much smoother. Alright, and it, my starship is up in the air, apparently. That's cute. Let's see if there's like a save beacon over here. No, there's not. There's this Stabilizing. 
There we go. All right. <laughs> I was able to get into it. <laughs> See, I've woken near a crash ship. I can only assume it belongs to me, though I have no memory of it. No sense of it before. The crash must have affected my memory somehow. Read log. Request log unavailable. Substituting data. Exosuit connected. All systems functional and fueled. Now it's starting to chug again. Alright. All right. Traveler anomaly detected. Blah, blah, blah. We're good to go. Alright. Um. Let's send this to the starship. Uh, we'll also send platinum to the starship. Um, iron can go, iridium can go. All right. Now we can get this stuff. Toxic protection. Fascination beads. More plutonium. Oxides in here, shielding shard, nice. And oh, I need some iron to repair that. All right, sure. Get some iron real quick. It's worthwhile. Get some nanites out of it. Have I been to the? I have in 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 one of my save files. Man, I don't know what is up with this. It is like coming and going in waves. Maybe it's because I'm playing in this windowed mode. That's gotta be what it is. Alright, I'm gonna head to the space station and then try and see if I can change. I already have a hyperdrive because my ship is awesome. save my game. And then I'm going to switch this out of Windows mode and see if that helps free up resources or at least make it to where my game doesn't chug. My game should not be chugging. Alright, restore points saved. Let's see. Options. Alright, I'm gonna restart real quick and then see if this fixes it. Play some South Park. <laughs> I still have a few hours before, uh, or at least like two and a half hours before my PvP pack refreshes. Um, so it, it'll be at least a couple hours before I play some South Park. 
But I want to play a little bit more of this, and then I may switch up and play a different game in, in a minute. But at least for now, I want to play more of this. I also wouldn't mind playing some uh, Seven Days to Die. Like, that's a really fun game. I enjoy that one. I really, I really enjoy survival games. Like, if this game's gonna keep chugging, though, for some god-awful reason, then, um, then I may switch over and pl try playing some Seven Days to Die and see how that game works. I don't know why this game's chugging, man. It shouldn't be. It never has before. <laughs> I'm not getting any drop frames or anything, so I don't think it has to do with me streaming. But like I said, maybe it's just... Playing in the windowed mode is what was doing it. Alright, well, we're at the space station. Let's go ahead and uh, see what's going on here. So here's the Viking dudes. Oh, and it looks like there's some Gek guys here, too. Excellent. So, like, you don't know their language, but, like, you can learn, like, see, I've learned the word interloper, so it shows me that word, but I don't know the rest of their language yet. But as you go through the game and you learn more of their language, you'll be kind of able to understand them a little bit better. The warrior hackles, the warrior's hackles rise, and they start to shake in anticipation of my request. I sense that their ancestors are likely to be offended if I push the issue too far. Uh, we'll just ask for directions and see what he says. <laughs> Offers directions to a place of interest. Operations center detected. Thank you. Much appreciated. Small creature is busy adding up trade profits when I appear. Their eyes open wide in anticipation of our first contact, and they rubs their fingers together greedily. The life form pecks emphatically at the monetary figures on their on their pad, then bounces up and down. I can't help but notice that they smell amazing. <laughs> uh, so maybe he wants some units. We'll give him some units. Ah, oh, he's clearly thrilled. They give me something in exchange. Like standing with the Gek has increased, and he gave me some nanite clusters. Why, thank you. Much appreciated. Let's see what this guy says. Something interloper. The warrior's nostrils flare as I approach. They inhale deeply and bark out what could be a warning. I hurriedly mime that I am peaceful and know little of their kind or language. They take a second to think, then grab my multi-tool while barking again into my visor, streaking it with saliva. They point at the indicator that shows which elements I carry. I do my best to keep calm. Um, we'll give him some heridium and hope that that's what he wants. <laughs> So, he seems pleased with it, teaches me some of his language. So I've learned the Viking word for visual. And my standing with the Viking has increased. Hoi Dom Interloper. I don't know how to say all of these words. The warrior looks at me with fire in its eyes. The species is clearly aggressive and I doubt I'm welcome. Nonetheless, the life form bows in greeting. Tradition and honor perhaps dictate it. I don't feel in danger, and am about to turn and leave when the creature points toward my multi-tool. They bark with concern and makes a motion to suggest that I should hand it over. Ah, uh, sure. We'll see. Warrior nods in satisfaction. They offer me an improved replacement multi-tool. Oh, man. Holy moly. I probably can't... Do I have to buy this? If I have to buy it, there's no way I can afford it. Oh, he's just gonna give it to me? Holy cow, that's flippin' awesome. Dude, we got super lucky, man. You're like my new best friend. He gave me a sweet-ass multi-tool. This is why you talk to everybody. <laughs> talk to everyone. Alright, skip that. I need to talk... Oh, let's see. Can I interact with this? Probably not. No. Okay. We'll just talk to this guy. Let's see what this dude says. 
The warrior offers me blueprints for weapon upgrades in exchange for nanite clusters. It glares at me as I approach, trying to turn its grimace into a smile, but failing even at this. It seems unhappy with its current position. Alright, we'll trade. I probably don't have enough. Yeah, I don't have enough nanite clusters to buy anything. Sorry, dude. Uh, I appreciate the offer, but uh, I'm apparently too poor. So maybe next time. Maybe next time. All right, we'll go to the trade terminal and see if we can't sell that emerald that we mined earlier and get some uh, get some credits for that. We definitely need more credits. We can also sell this fascination bead. We do not need that. Uh, it's not a really good price for the emerald, but we need the units, so we're going to go ahead and sell it anyway. And then let's see if there's anything for sale that we might want. Uh, I don't really need the heridium. I don't really want to buy zinc, because I don't think I need it that bad. Plutonium, maybe? Maybe? Maybe I don't want to buy it that badly. We'll buy 250. Just because. You can never really have too much plutonium. Yeah, we'll buy it. Now, let's see. Oh, we have to repair all these slots. That's yeah, a bit unfortunate, but I guess it could be worse. The only thing that sucks is my mining beam is over here, and it doesn't have a slot here, but that's fine. Uh, we don't really need to repair it right now though because we don't really have anything to install on it so we won't worry about it we'll see if there's anything on the other side and then uh, we can head out maybe find another planet to explore or we can go back to the planet we were on and continue exploring that planet a little bit more let's see what we get over here some carbon some more carbon oh can't can't it's fine. uh what do you got for me The life form gestures apologetically. Their exact meaning is unclear, but it is apparent that there is no work for me here. <laughs> All right. Well, cool stuff, man. Thanks for nothing. Much appreciated. Can't go in there yet. We do not have an Atlas Pass. All right. Let's uh go back to our ship. Move those. Oh, wait, that's on. Uh, move those over to Starship. Uh, Starship. Starship. Starship's doing good. So, yeah. Alright. So this is the planet we were on.
also get Thamium from the asteroids. So we'll farm some of this real quick. The only thing we have to watch out for being in space is uh, pirates, because pirates do roam around, and until I can get some upgrades for my ship, pirates will kill me. <laughs> they will kill me, and they will steal everything. Okay, let's see here. Um, that's the ship. Shoot. Alright, we gotta get back in here. I do not need to be facing pirates. Search for the mysterious messenger. Alright, we're just gonna wait for a minute. Hopefully, uh, those pirates leave. I think that's the pirates. Okay, I think they left. Alright, we should be good. Uh, hold on one second. Chat keeps... There we go. Can you go to Saturn? It's not a... It's not our solar system. It's, it's just a solar system. I don't know if any planets have rings around them. Ship fugitive, destroy the attack ship. I don't want to destroy the attack ship. So it looks like we need to go over here. Unknown moon. All right. Go in here. So 
sucks. Starship have for defenses? Um, just photon cannons and a phase beam. Ugh. doesn't have a visor. Interesting. Um, we'll repair this one and put a visor here. There we go. What's up, HT de Herb? H2 de Herb? shooting stuff and let's go into this little building and see if there's anything worthwhile over here we'll just stay down here and try and find the rest of the animals on this planet how many more animals do we have on this planet where do we see that at uh, discoveries three out of five so we need two more animals to complete this planet Right now, we'll just go in here and see if there's anything worthwhile in this little, this little uh, outpost. Standing with the Viking has increased. Let's repair this. User identified terminal now active, unlocking data log for analysis. It looked like a wound on the world, crimson and ragged edged, like something that once lived but was then torn asunder. I should have stayed away. 
Had I the senses to taste the air of this planet, I imagine it would have reeked with some kind of alien feeder, but nothing could stall my curiosity. Was it dead? Where I touched it, the surface was moist and yielding. It seemed to become motile, then crawling on a mat of slow cilia, moving from me. I should have left it alone. Interesting. I discover something coded deep inside the long dead traveler's data log. Something has been left that will aid me on my own journey. Oh, man, I clusters. Nice. Ah, one of those whip lines. Ow. Launch thruster. Zinc over here. And some more plutonium.
least there's a lot of plutonium on this planet. That makes it very helpful. Do I ever go back to Animation Throwdown to see what's new? No, I haven't. Um, I got rid of my Animation Throwdown account. So I don't even have an account in Animation Throwdown anymore. Although I have watched a couple of people play uh, on YouTube. And uh, I noticed that they added like an animal theme or something like that. Or an animal trait or something. So, just more cards that you have to collect. Another, another BGE, I guess, for them to do. Have they added more than just the animals, or is that a uh, is that pretty much it? And I heard like the animals all basically have crazed or something. I don't know. Life support. Life support power, low, oh, more. Tons of plutonium. That makes exploring on this planet really easy. Already got that. Nanites. Transfer. Oh, nope. Exosuit transfer. Okay. Let's see what's over here. Oh. Repair. More nanite clusters. Scan, see if there's anything nearby. More plutonium right behind us. And some zinc. We'll go ahead and get this plutonium. Alright. Uh, we need to recharge our launch thrusters. To recharge our launch thrusters more. And we can take off. I think that was the same. Still feels like it's chugging. I don't know what's going on with this game, man. something. 
back up. Doesn't look like anything too exciting. like another exosuit upgrade. This will definitely be a worthwhile stop. thousand we can afford that nice more upgrades always good Try and get as much of this as I can carry and then I can go sell it. We just gotta try and make some credits so that we can get a better ship. Quite a bit of it right here. Charge our life supports. 
Um, do we use Thamium 9 or do we use a power canister? Maybe just use a power canister. Charge the multi tool. We'll use carbon, I think, to do that. Quite a bit, 750, almost a thousand. Let's just keep going. Charge. We'll get some more carbon. What's up, Jeff? How's it going, man? Uh, right now, we're just um, mining. I'm trying to get. Uh, oh, look at. Look. Oh, sweet. Where are they? There they are. Perfect. All right. Now we just have one more animal to find on this planet. I figured there was probably some flying things somewhere out here. Just hide in here, make sure the sentinels don't get mad at us. Alright, recharge the multi-tool. some more carbon. Oh, not happy. Ow. Get out of here, Sentinel. Get out of here. Alright, 
We've got to find one more animal. Usually this will send you to like an important waypoint or something. Advanced life form detected. Alright, well, we'll head that way. We've already got that thing. Oh, more platinum. Or plutonium. Plutonium always good. Go ahead and get this thing. I always use more carbon. Scan the mushroom. And then we'll kill the mushroom. anything oh there's some oh lots of zinc all right we'll go grab the zinc really quick Let's go grab this zinc one more animal already got that one We'll head to this other waypoint and check out what's over here. Ow. Starting to run low. Can't do too many more liftoffs. seconds. Yeah, this is a, it's like a survival kind of gathering crafting game. Like you have to gather stuff um, and you're, I'm playing on permadeath mode right now. So it's like, it's like the hardest mode in the game. So everything does more damage to me. It takes me more materials to recharge my stuff. I have to recharge it more often. Um, I'm just doing this for fun, basically. Oh, sweet. And this one has a landing pad. If you land on the landing pad, then you don't have to spend any uh, resources to take off. So we definitely want to land on the landing pad. We'll probably, there's, there may be a uh, terminal here also that we can use to sell. And if there is, uh, there's emerald nearby. So we can probably make some good money by stopping here. Hopefully there's going to be a terminal. Health at maximum. Let's see if there's a terminal in here. Ah, oh, there is. Ah, oh, there's also a multi-tool. We'll go to the terminal first, though. Alright, we'll talk to this guy first. The warrior is silent for a second before looking at me conspiratorially. They check over their shoulder for prying eyes before powering down security systems. The warrior pulls open the trade vault at their feet, which seems to be piled high with multi-tool upgrades. They indicate the contents of my inventory as a trade. Um... 
threatened to report. Viking tend to respond well to um, to power aggression, so let's threaten to report him. The threatened warrior buys my silence. Nice. We'll talk to him again, see if... Uh... Sweet. Alright, yeah, we'll offer him a gift. He accepts my gift with gratitude. Nice. And then he may offer us more stuff. They have no desire to kill me. Their lips curl over their teeth as they deliver a series of elegantly formed barking noises. Um, sure, we'll barter with them. Gives me a package. Oh wow, 62 or 68,000 units. That's a lot for a hundred zinc. It's a really good trade. Uh, and then we'll ask for directions and see if he gives us. Uh, so he gives us directions to a uh, transmission tower. Nice. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks, dude. Very helpful. Alright, let's sell all this emerald, and then we can go farm more emerald and sell it <laughs> and keep rinsing and repeating until we have plenty of money. So, sell that. Uh, starship? Sell that. We could probably sell this nickel. We don't really need it. So we'll sell that. What about exosuit? Anything else in here? Everything else seems... Well, what is this? Sulfurine. Maybe that's something he gave us. A pungent atmospheric gas found in the atmosphere. I don't really need it. It doesn't sell for much, but I'm going to sell it anyway. Because I don't need it. It's just taking up an inventory slot. Alright, let's see if we can maybe buy some more platinum here. We could buy power canisters. That might not be... A bad idea. Oh, here we go. Some plutonium. Could buy some plutonium for sure. Uh, we'll just buy... Well, it's only 34. That's kind of unfortunate. We'll just go and buy it, though. Um, nothing else. Uh, we... I think I may buy these power... Or, By five, and then uh, we'll move them to the starship. Uh, let's see. Check our starship inventory. So we've got five power canisters. Can we use those? We can't use them to charge that, but we can use them to charge our life support. So we don't have to use Thamium to charge our life support anymore, which is good. Alright, let's see if we can do anything with this multi-tool. Uh, it costs 1.1 million units. I do not have 1.1 million units, and even if I did, I don't think it would be worth it. See, it's only 17 slots. I think mine's... Mine looks better to me. I mean, I have to repair it. Maybe if I repaired it, mine would be a bit better. Okay, well, we're not going to trade. Nanites. Nanites are always good. Health is maximum. What is this? Carbon. Carbon. Okay. Uh, there was more emerald nearby. Oh yes, tons of emerald nearby. What's up, Jason? How's it going? We're 
just gonna farm more emerald and make more money. So that we can hopefully buy a better starship. Eventually you can do base building, like you can learn how to create um, structures and you can build a base. And then you can like create a farm and you can start farming stuff and that's like how you really start to make good money in this game is by building a farm, farming different materials, different plants and stuff that uh, produce different elements. But in the beginning of the game you're kind of limited in how you can make money and so you just kind of have to find like these rare resources like emerald, gold, aluminum, nickel, and you just farm them and sell them until you're able to get better multi-tools, better starships. So it's really slow starting, but you know, it's just like every other survival crafting game, like it's really slow at the start, and then once you get up to a certain level, it uh, everything gets a little bit more fun and a little bit more interesting. Like right now it's really difficult for me to do any space travel, because if I do, then I run the risk of just getting my ass kicked by pirates. And I still have to find the last animal on this planet. I also need to uh, check out those buildings. We'll check out those buildings after we recharge our hazard suits. Build a chicken coop? <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can build a chicken coop, unfortunately. But that's a good one. I've ne I've never seen chickens in this game. More nanite clusters, always good. More standing with the Viking, always good. Don't need the health. No, I don't think that gives me. Oh, it gives me. It's okay. Okay. And then we'll see what's in this building. Learn the Viking word for detection. This will have some units. And restore shield. I think that's it. Back over here and farm more emerald. Luckily, there's just a ton of this stuff right next to a trade terminal. We've gotten pretty lucky on this planet. Sometimes you can really get shafted when you first start out in this game and you get on like a really difficult planet and it makes it really hard to get started. But got kind of lucky here. Let's see. Technology recharge with carbon. I have to get some more carbon here in just a second. In fact, maybe I should just go ahead and do that.
there is a ton of this stuff right here. Like eventually I'll be able to get my mining laser to where I don't have to like keep recharging it so often. But like right now, like everything just you start out everything just sucks. I think that was always the thing that interested me about these types of games is that like the, these types of games are always they seem to be the most difficult at the very beginning of the game. Like most games, you know, they tend to start out really easy and then the difficulty ramps up as you go. This game just starts out really difficult and then as you do go into the game, uh, it gets easier and easier and easier. Alright, we gotta shoot. I waited too long. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We can make it. Before it does too much damage or any damage. A little bit of damage, but not too much. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and sell everything we've got while we're in here. Uh, exosuit inventory. Back to farming. Actually, I need more. Uh, let's get some carbon real quick. Mining emerald. I need to stop letting it overheat. Starship's out of range, that's why. Shouldn't be, but I guess it is. There we go. Life support good. Maybe I'll run into Space Warrior Token. He's kind of like the uh, the Viking. Kind of remind me of, of Space Warrior Token. Weapon charge depleted. All right, let's recharge our multi tool. Oh shoot. Jetpack. Hey, 
buddy. Alright, let's get some more carbon. We'll just weaken these things and then we can blow them up all really quick. out this entire mine or whatever this is. Let's see. Carbon. Almost another thousand.
god, there's like so much of this stuff. This is nuts. Alright. Maxed out. Let's go sell. We need to get some more carbon. Right. Uh, we don't need that. We can transfer that to the starship. You got four visitors in your team pack, dude? That's awesome, man. I only got uh, two, I think. So, not enough to get mine up to level two. But, dude, that's great that you got four. That's really cool, man. I love the visitors. I think they're an awesome unit. So, 825,000 units now. Uh, we only have 136 nanite clusters. It's a bit unfortunate. I thought we had more than that, but I guess not. Can we buy? Can we buy anything worthwhile? Maybe buy another power canister. I think that's enough of this farming. Uh, except I will get a little bit more carbon. Sentinels are gonna get pissed at me. But I'm just gonna hop in my ship and take off, so. not take off yet. I may look over this hill and see if there, uh, there's any more animals that I can scan as soon as I let my um, hazard protection replenish real quick. Let's go ahead and recharge this.
Plutonium. More Plutonium over there. Plutonium. Watched the dev stream and they gave you a sh oh yeah I, I saw that uh, right toward the very end uh, that was really awesome of them I was really happy that they did that they gave a few people shout outs I'm hoping that uh, pretty soon they're gonna start uh, being a little bit more uh, trying to get more involved with content creators I think we should be working together to, uh, to help push this game forward. Alright, I need to uh, recharge. Uh, yeah, we'll just use that, that's fine. Dang, I don't really want to do that, but... I ventured too far. Alright, let's uh, leave here and go check out this shelter and see if there's anything worthwhile over there. Here we get a free lift off. We don't have to spend any materials or any resources to lift off. Ah, uh, take it easy, Jeff. Get some rest, man. I uh, hope you're feeling better, by the way. Hope everything went well with uh, over at the hospital. guys so no animals here that I haven't already got do a quick scan more plutonium over here okay got that There. 
nanites. Alright, let's see what's in here. One, two, six, twenty four, one twenty. So, what's the code here? Looks like powers, right? Or one, one times two, two times three is six, six times four is twenty four, four times five is one twenty, so five or one twenty times six is 720? 720. So distress signal, that's good, right? See what this guy says. I approach the warrior, but they barely acknowledge my presence. Though they look in my direction, their gaze is fixed on a point far beyond my eyes. The warrior ignores my challenge. Perhaps this is for the best. Yeah, I haven't played too much um, since all the updates. It's one of the reasons why I started playing this game again. I played this game when it first came out, and um, like I got to the center of the galaxy, and I finished all of the Atlas missions and stuff. It was a lot of fun, but it got really repetitive and boring, and there wasn't like a whole lot to do. And now I've heard that they've really like upped it. stuff on those planets. need one more animal on this planet to find all of them and get
get a nice little credit bump. So I don't want to leave the planet until I've found that last animal. There's some plutonium, so yeah, all right. Oh, is there a? <laughs> I'm just gonna fly through the building. Apparently, there's a landing pad over here. No, that's funny. I just like flew through the building. That's cute. Well, let's get this plutonium. It's good to know that this game still has some uh, nice graphical issues with it, but, you know, can't be perfect, I guess. More emerald over here, too. If I wanted to farm, I guess I could. I don't know if there's anywhere to sell, though. Let's just get all this food on here. All the plutonium at least makes it worthwhile to land. I don't feel like I'm losing anything. What's up, Omp? Man, I've been craving a big open world RPG lately. I don't think I'll pick up No Man's Sky despite the updates, but boy oh boy have there been exciting announcements lately. Like the Division 2 was before developing into that hard. I haven't I never played the first division. Um, I heard some good things about it. Maybe I'll look into Division 2 though. I was a big fan of like the Fallout series. I never played Fallout 4. Uh, Fallout New Vegas was one of my favorites. Nothing. Let's go check these buildings out. This game certainly is not for everyone. Like, this is a really just kind of slow pace. If you like just exp exploration games, then this will be more for you. But if you do not like exploration games, then this is not going to be for you. We need more iron. Nanites. We'll take nanites. First time around, it had a little in game which killed the game for a lot of people. It's thousands times better now, but the leveling, it was 11 out of 10. Very immersive, fun. Huh. That sounds cool, man. I might, have to, I might have to look that up. Nothing worthwhile. Alright, we need to get some iron. Uh, I guess we can put that in the starship. Escape is coming to mobile. Hmm. 
That's another one that I never played. Uh, I know a lot of the guys in the YouTube channel have been playing uh, some Fable game on, on mobile now. I may have to look that up. I think it's like a card game, though. But um, I was always a big fan of Fable. Uh, Heridian? What do I have? Do I have Heridian? I do have some Heridian. Alright, transfer. Okay, let's we'll see. Oh, it's out of range. Where's my starship? What about now? Is it still out of range? Nice. 30 nanite clusters. Uh, there's some more plutonium over here. Alright, let's see if there's anything in this big building. Okay, 1702-7021-0217. It should be 2170. Yep. Awesome. like some more plutonium over here. We'll go check this out. Maybe uh, maybe there'll be some more emerald there in soon. But maybe we can find these last this last animal man. It's just not wanting to show up. Never played Fable at all. Yeah, Fable was pretty fun for me. I enjoyed it. It's definitely one of those games, though, that's not for everyone, I think. Kind of like, I mean, not the same as this, but I understood why pe there were some people that didn't really like it. Alright, I need to get back to my
See what's down here. Three slots.
Zane is here. Jack and Sean. Alright, we can head back to our ship. Nice and power. What's that big noise? It's probably uh, spaceships flying overhead. Uh, let's see, we'll send this back to the ship. No capacity, huh? Yeah, there's like, uh, there's other shifts that fly over. So that's probably what it is that you're hearing. How's my mining laser? Uh, let's go ahead and charge that. And then we'll mine some more carbon while we're here. <laughs> it's killing you. <laughs> I try not to waste resources if I can avoid it though. I still need one more animal to complete this uh, this planet, man. And I have no idea where I'm gonna find that animal at. All right, thrusters good. Let's take off. Let's 
let's uh, go ahead and repair. Wow, that why is that at full? Oh, I guess because I parked next to a thing. Huh, all right, whatever. Probably not really worth a, a stop here, but we'll see. I don't see any animals. There's some zinc. I guess zinc makes it worthwhile. I'm never gonna find this last uh, this last animal. worthwhile stops. Yes, please. Take it easy, Ump. Thanks for uh, jumping in, man. Always good to see you in the chat. Have a good rest of your day, evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Yeah, in uh, in permadeath, they take a lot to recharge, and you only get one use out of it per charge. So that's why, like, I have to really kind of pick and choose where I'm landing. Like, I have to, like, gauge, is it really worth it for me to stop here? Because I can't, uh, perform too many stops that aren't, aren't worthwhile. Like that, probably not worthwhile of me stopping here.
I wish there was a way to scan for animals in your ship to where I could try and find, like, this missing creature. That's pretty much the only thing I'm staying on this planet for, is to find this one last creature I need. Viking word for warp. Learn the Viking word for Viking. I assume I learned some other word from that one. Place my palm on the monolith and stand back when it melts in response to my touch. Molten rock drips down the stone, exposing a hollow interior. Inside I see riches that are beyond belief, ancient technologies and cargo that would aid my journey. Lava continues to drop and the edifice seems unstable, but equipment that could aid me is within arm's reach. Suddenly the voice of an ancient tribe shakes the ground I stand on. Let's reach in. The monolith... Monolith collapses onto my exosuit. The edifice is reconstructed with damage remains. Aw, oh, I take damage. That sucks. Didn't look like I took damage. Unfortunate. I guessed wrong. So, not really worthwhile then. Where's my ship? Oh, there it is. Some platinum, some thamium. already found all these animals. Where's the one that I'm missing? Where is it? Yeah. 
This might be worthwhile. some more plutonium here. Point us in the direction of an advanced life form, okay? Geknip. Shielding shard. Toxic protection. Uh, you can stack shielding shards and power gels in your, um, I think in your spaceship, but you can't stack them in your inventory, I don't think. Yeah, I can see if there's anything in here. I haven't seen any life forms inside the caves. At least not in the ones that I've explored in, on this planet. Okay. Can I transfer that? Yep. Doesn't really look like there's anything down here. support. Alright. Life support's recharged. anything in here.
but we can go check out that advanced life form. About to give up trying to find this last animal, man. Well, at least, whoa, whoa, whoa. This one has a uh, docking station. Looks like the same place that I was at earlier. No, this is different. Yeah, this is different. Oh, I'm starting to get tired. red, jagged, and recent bite mark is wrapped around the entirety of the warrior's neck. Claw marks scar their chest, and their suit's restoration and healing systems are blinking offline. The life form, life form barks contentedly at me, satisfied by their narrow victory. It's clear, however, that the warrior's injuries are severe. They have trouble breathing. Yeah, we'll, we'll recharge the warrior's suit. Oh, they offer me a multi-tool. Let's see if it's any good. What is this? Terrain manipulator? Eh, it's probably not as good as the one I have. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think it's as good as the one I have. I got really lucky with that that multi tool early in the game. Alright, let's see if there's anything worth getting here. I don't think I have anything to sell. Well actually yes I do. I can sell this Gek Nip. Gek charm. Yeah, totally a, a really good cash reward for all that. I can stay here and farm an emerald more. There's some plutonium. Might as well grab that. Looks like another knowledge stone. The 
Learn the Viking word for replace. Looks like some more plutonium over here, some more zinc. Probably going to save it after I go into this building, and then uh, probably uh, get look. We'll go through these two buildings really quick, and then probably call it a night because I'm getting a bit tired. But this has been a good start. Oh, I was really hoping I needed that guy. We got really lucky, man. This was a really good planet to start on for being in permadeath mode. Because there was a lot of plutonium on this planet. You don't always, uh, you don't always get that lucky for sure. So I'll take it. And then maybe tomorrow I'll try and uh, find that last animal and finally leave this, uh, this planet and move on. I think that's pretty much going to do it for me. It was fun. Thanks for uh, tuning in, everyone. I'll be doing some more No Man's Sky. Uh, maybe a little bit next week, one day. And then, um, you know, on the weekends here and there. But, uh, yeah. So thanks a lot for tuning in, everyone. And um, if I don't see you tomorrow, I will see you Monday at 5 p.m. for some more South Park. So take it easy. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks.